What is up, everybody? So as we know, yesterday, Ghislaine Maxwell was found guilty on five of the six charges that she was charged with, and she still faces perjury charges as well. She faces up to, I believe it's 70 or 80 years in prison, which is still less than the truck driver got. That truck driver got 110 years in prison, and Ghislaine Maxwell faces up to a maximum of 70 or 80 years in prison for what she did, which is beyond insane if you ask me. What that truck driver did was not premeditated, but what Ghislaine Maxwell did was premeditated. They set out, they planned, they prepared to ruin the lives of countless young women. I don't think there's a sentence out there long enough or harsh enough that you could give her that will at the end of the day still give all the victims and survivors justice. But the big question out there is, will Ghislaine Maxwell name names? Will she go down alone or will she bring everybody down with her? She has not named anybody yet and has maintained her innocence this entire time. Now, a lot of people are asking, well, if she was going to name names, why didn't she name them already to avoid going to trial? Well, I believe, now this is just my personal belief, I believe that she probably felt that she was going to get off with it and didn't need to bring anybody else down with her. I felt, I feel, that she felt that she was going to be found innocent of these crimes and set free and on her merry way she would have went. But now, now she's found guilty and is facing perjury charges as well as facing the sentencing part of her trial. And I think now, if at all, if she doesn't do it now, she's never gonna do it. I believe she may do it now because she is facing 70 or 80 years in prison. And she probably doesn't wanna do that. She probably wants to cut a deal serve as little time as possible, be sent on her merry way to an island or back to Israel or wherever she's gonna go, Mexico, who knows, anywhere. She's probably got this all set up or in her mind has it all set up, but will she actually do it? Because if she does it, that's going to put her life in great, great risk, which is why I think she probably has a contingency plan of when it does happen, she's going to be shipped off to some island where she's going to live the rest of her life. But if she doesn't do it now in the sentencing phase of this trial, I don't think she's ever going to do it. What if she doesn't do it? She is the most loyal accomplice of all time. Imagine, I mean, the guy she did it for is dead. Who is she? She's, st she's protecting all of these powerful people now, I guess, like Prince Andrew or, I mean, he barely got a mention in the trial. It's just crazy what all of these people are possibly going to get away with and she's going to take the fall for all of it. I don't know, but if she does name names, can you imagine what will happen, it will start a fire all around the world with the information that she knows if she if she does talk. I don't know. I feel like if she is going to do it, it's going to be during the sentencing phase of her trial uh, where she's going to cut a deal. And if she doesn't, she's not going to. Ever. It's just crazy. I think everybody deserves to know. These people should not be protected. The, everybody deserves to know that if there are these powerful people that are still in place today that had anything to do with these crimes, they should not be in that position of power and they should be held accountable for everything that they did. Again, that's my opinion. Let me know what your opinion is. Do you think she's going to name names? Uh, it, it'll be crazy if she does. The names that she must know that have done things over the years must be absolutely insane. Must be bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. Hope you're having a good day. I'll see you again soon.